Hello. Hello, Claudia. Yes. Hey, this is Greg England. Uh, you left a message for me about your loan application. Um, not recently. Oh yeah, about a week ago. Yeah. And, but uh, I, I think I think you we've talked since then. Oh really? I don't remember that. Yeah. Well, we've, we've you've already started the process, and we've got a loan processor and. Uh, Oh, that might have been an check. imposter, because um, we've had this problem with people. They've hacked into our computers, and they they're stolen all of our customer data, and they that might have just been an identity thief. But no, I'm the real Greg. So no, uh, it's just forget all that happened. So uh, what's going on? Did you have some questions? Well, you know our loan process has started already, correct? I well, faxed you. You sent me documents. I sent you documents back. Oh no, that was the identity thieves. No, just forget about them. No, I'm the real Greg. With Bank of America. Yeah, yeah, I'm with Bank okay. of America. And what's your not what's your what's your identity number? My identity number, like my social security number. No, your loan officer number. That's three five four one six two five seven. So you're telling me all these papers that I've got from Bank of America. Are not valid. Yeah, those are from hackers. It's those North oh. Korean hackers. I don't know what they've done this time. Well, yeah. they've sent them via FedEx. FedEx. So I doubt oh. that hackers would spend the money on that. Why don't you give oh. me your name and your phone number? You, you don't know how identity theft works. I mean, you're just a woman. Why don't you? Why don't you give me your name, identity number, and phone number? I have to give you my name and identity number again. Yes. Because I already gave you both of those things. I told you my name's Greg. My phone well, first numbers. of all, Bank of America's not open today. Oh, the hell it isn't. What am I doing here then, you idiot? Okay, I beg your pardon? I said, what would what, I be doing here if the if the bank's not open? You think I just come in on my... What is your ID number? I already gave you that. It starts with 3-5. You didn't write it down the first time? No. What is it? Oh, that's five it. What? You are just a waste of our time. I, I, I think I'm just going to cancel this whole thing. This is bullshit. Thank you. I don't believe you're from Bank of America. Okay, yeah, you you have fun dealing with those hacks. Oh, she's asking for it. I'm just going to rip up her application. That'll teach her. Hello? That's it. I'm, I'm ripping up your application. I'm going to rip it into shreds. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to rip it up. That'll show, okay. that'll show you a thing or two. You don't, you don't you don't talk that way to, to the Bank of America, ma'am. Yeah, and you know what? The Greg Engler that I was talking to it doesn't have the same number that starts with a five three. That's because so, he's a hacker, you idiot. Well, first of all, if you were truly from Bank of America, you'd have a little bit more civility. Oh no! So don't call me again. You you don't know how things work in the banking industry, ma'am. Oh, life is like a prank call in Roy, New Mexico. Collect calls, sting cars, harassing Walmart customers. Can I take your head, please? Fortune and testing. No plow. Have to pay the stupid bitch fee. No plow. Roy, who? That's my name. It's Roy, who? No plow. Danger, watch for scammers. I'm the rising corporate manager, and I need your V card for my snow plow. It's every day on PLA, it's snow plow show. Tell your kids to shut the fuck up, snow plow show. I'm going to call the final boss now, snow plow show. Hey, everybody, this is the snow plow show, episode 807. Today is May 30th, 2023, and this episode is brought to you by BinQ666, Hunts Point Hooker, Weamu, Theop, and KC Deeply. They all support us over on the Patreon at patreon.com slash phone losers. You guys, our vinyl records made it off the boat. Apparently they are on their way to me now. They gave me a tracking number, but it doesn't work, so I need to ask them what's wrong with my tracking number. But the records were not stolen by pirates. That's good news. They're going to get here soon. I need to do those uh, things 
on the Kickstarter. Ask you all your addresses so I know where to send these vinyl records to. So be expecting that soon. Check your Kickstarters for messages from me. I've got a couple of things here that I found from, I think, 2020. They are things that I didn't feel comfortable playing on my show while I was on probation. So I hid them away in a secret directory and I just stumbled across them a couple days ago and they're both pretty funny. Like one is just a message. It's a voicemail. I'll play that first. Hey, this message was for Carol Gersberg. This is Officer Scott with the Police Department. I am reaching out regarding uh, you calling a Beth earlier this evening, um, saying that she was supposedly watering your trees. Um, she has informed me that she's not been watering anybody else's trees. She said she barely waters hers. Yeah, right. So I don't know if there's a misunderstanding and uh, if you have a neighbor that's watering your trees and you thought that you were calling the right person named Beth, but you were not calling the right person and I need to make sure that the uh, phone calls. This guy puts way too much faith in what Beth is saying to him. Like, what if she's the liar? Do not continue to happen. So if you have any questions, feel free to call back in. Again, I was Officer Scott with the police department and you can call dispatch at zero zero. Thank you. So the date on that one, like I get confused about the dates on old files because it says date modified uh, 8-24-2020 and date created 1-3-2022. That doesn't make any sense. I think it's the 2020 date, but who knows? I've also got this four minute long phone call, which um, I can't remember exactly what this was. I think I'm calling back a cell phone store and it's kind of a final boss call, but did I already do the final boss call? I don't know. It's a weird call, but I'm going to play it right now. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this. Thank you for calling 18 t How may we help you? Hey there, it's Carol. Uh, I received a call from someone there saying you're gonna, I'm, you're gonna bundle my number up with someone else's. You're gonna stack them. So um, yes, I apologize that you had that experience. Um, there is something called a spoofing. Um, basically, it's a fraudster who has manipulated some kind of computer, computer program oh. to falsify the caller ID well, he's and make stacking. it look like we're calling you from. Yeah, he said stacking, not spoofing. He said phone number stacking, not spoofing. I'm going to share my number with a lady named Jennifer down in Oregon. No. Um, I had completely forgotten about this idea, calling up people and telling them that they're going to be sharing their phone number with somebody else. I need to do more of this, more stacking. The, the name of spoofing is the name of the technology, so I apologize. I, um, I may have got a little deep before um, explaining everything. It was a fraudulent call that you received. I am just a woman. No, no, no. no I, I just, um, not everybody's familiar with the industry techno um, names that we give things. Okay. Um, so this type of fraud is called spoofing, where they use a computer program to falsify the, um, the caller ID information that you see. Oh. Um, so that's what I was referring to. So um, unfortunately, you're not the first phone call. Um, we've had about five today so far oh, um, where um, somebody's using our store phone number to make these fraudulent calls, make these false claims out to customers. What, what's and the scam? And there is no stacking going to be happening. Oh, what, what's how, um, that? Were they going to get my bank account? There is account? nothing going on with your account. Not, not unless you gave them any new information, but um, there's, no, there's no action actually being taken. Oh. Um, it happened about a month ago, and somebody claimed it was a prank kind oh. of deal. Somebody called and a month ago and stated that, "Oh yeah, we're we're pranking you. You've been calling all these people with your phone number, telling That's them so all weird. this crazy stuff." Who would do something like this? Yeah, I tell you, I don't know what this world's coming coming to. You know, we got the wildfires, we got the COVID. We don't need this stuff. I know, right? <sighs> this is like top of everything else going on. So I, I do apologize. Um, but there is, you're not going to be sharing your phone number, no stacking or um, anything. Oh, yeah, the wildfires. That, that proves it's 2020. I remember that's the year the, the wildfires happened really bad up here. To that effect. Oh, that's good. Um, I'm trying to get my IT department and fraud departments to get it to cease. But, yeah, there's nothing, to, mm -hmm. um, nothing happening to your account unless you take action. Okay, great, because I don't want that, yeah. And also, I, I'm the prank caller. I've been the one prank calling all these people. I was just being silly. It's not a scam, though. I'm just oh prank goodness. calling people. That's all. Well, if you're calling as our caller ID, it is a scam. Well, not really. I, I wasn't saying I was with your store. It is. Um, falsifying the number on the caller ID is a scam and is considered a fraudulent activity. I don't think so. I think you're wrong about that. It's just a just caller ID. You guys should learn how to, um, I don't know, authorize that shit so people can't spoof or stack or whatever it's called. 
the spoofing technology is um, something that we are fighting on. It's an internet challenge, so um, it is something that is difficult. Wait, wait, caller ID is internet based. It's an internet challenge. There are computer programs that can falsify caller ID. Yes. Yeah, but nobody has a computer that big that can do that. That's silly. Oh, it doesn't take much of a computer. It's more about programs, and it unfortunately does happen. Oh, wait, you're right. I, 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 I was doing it. I was doing it. Silly me. Okay, I'm sorry. It's just a, I, I, I really get into my roles, and I, I thought I was really Carol. I'm sorry. I'm just using a voice changer. See? I'm just, whoa, I'm changing my voice. Woo-hoo! I'm like a chipmunk now. Oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, fool. You're working on creating some federal charges for yourself. I, uh, I recommend that you stop. I've already been there. Anything else I can do for you? Ah, uh, no. Show's over. Time for voicemails. All right. Have a good afternoon. You too. Bye. So, I don't know why I would decide to call back that cell phone store a month later after I'd been messing with them. And after I'd already called them before. That's a little weird. But that one is dated September 28th, 2020. If you want to figure out which show that call belongs to. It's something within the previous month of that date. Okay, now I can delete both of these files. I have some other stuff too that I was a little paranoid to play back then, like uh, news reports about carding notes, like you guys leaving carding notes all over cop cars and on every car in a single street. Damn, whoever did that. But I don't know where I saved those. I'm sure I'll come across those someday. They were awesome news reports. I'm sure a lot of you seen them already. Anyway, let's get started with today's show. Thank you for calling Country in the Sleeves of Iridison. This is Quincy. I'm going to help you. Hey, uh, I'm a guest here. I'm staying here, you know. And I found somebody's keys to their car. In the hallway, you know? All right. All right. What room are you in? So, oh, I'm, I'm in, I'm, I'm uh, walking down the hallway right, right now uh, toward my room. But, uh, like, the thing is, though, I, I figured out which car I belonged to. I went out there and I, I tried the keys in every single car until I, uh, until I found out which one it was. All right. Um, can you bring the keys to the front desk? What kind of car was it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know cars very, you know, I, I don't know car brands and model. I, I'm not a really a car guy. But uh, they went to the, this restaurant down the street. And I I was in their car and they didn't know it. I was like in the the third back seat. So I guess it's like an SUV. Okay, you were They're, in the car? Yeah, I was hiding in their car and they stopped at this restaurant and um I just I you know, I still had my set of keys that I found. So I just got in their car and drove it back to the hotel. And I parked it right where they, uh, right where they were when they left. Why? Why would you do that? Because I wanted to come home, and this is like miles down the road. But why would you hide in the back seat of their car? Because I was back there just rooting around, like try- I wanted to figure out who the car belonged to, uh, because I was gonna return the keys to him. Sir, what what room are you in at this hotel? I, uh, well, I'm in the hallway right now. Okay, the hall. What, what floor are you on? The second. But no, what I'm saying is they're they're probably they're gonna think someone stole their van at the restaurant, you know, and then they're gonna get back to the hotel and they're gonna be like, "Holy crap, how's our van here?" So it's gonna cause a lot of confusion, and I'm just let them know I'm sorry about that. Okay, I left their keys in the sun visor. Like they do in Terminator. Okay, so you're in a you're in a hallway. Or what what hotel? What's the hotel name of the hallway you're in? The hotel name is Country Inn and Suites. I don't see anybody in my hallway. Oh, you don't know which hallway to look in, then, do you? Uh, I mean, I have the cameras. I mm-hmm. have every floor. Okay. I don't know what you're trying to prove, but I'm just calling to uh, ask you to pass Woo-hoo. along a message. Of apology, he thwarted me. Okay, that was just me getting warmed up. Here goes the the real call, where I accidentally get kidnapped and then have to drive the van back to the hotel. Quality in. Hi, I'm a guest here, ma'am. 
Yes. And I found some keys that belong to another guest. I assumed uh, I, w- I went out in the parking lot and I checked the keys in every car out there. And I finally found the one I belonged to. Okay. Uh, but there's a problem. Uh-huh. Um, I-, I was in the back of their car. I was like rooting around, you know. And they got in the car and they didn't know I was back there. So I just rode with them. They went to this restaurant down the street. What are you talking about? I, I was in another guest's car because I found their keys. So w- when they went to the restaurant, I was in the back seat, you know, like the third back seat. Uh huh. And I rode all the way to the to the restaurant with them. They didn't even know I was there. Uh huh. So I snuck out and I drove their their car back. And parked it in their parking spot. I'm confused. What well, room are you in? Why are you confused? So why would so that's like you stole their car? No, I didn't steal their but, car. I brought it but back. If, but if you had their key, right, and you got in their car, how did they drive their car? Well, they they must have had a second set. You know, it was like a man and a woman. You know what? Listen, I've had a long day. Okay. So <laughs> um, I have two. <laughs> like I spent uh, like almost an hour trying to figure out which car the keys belong to but why didn't you just bring the car to the front desk bring the car to the front desk i mean the keys to the front desk oh i i don't know like how do i know to trust you guys you know what (laughs) bye-bye What? (laughs) nobody wants to play along good afternoon thank you for calling holiday and express and sweets this donato how may i assist you hey donato i'm a guest here uh this is steve and I found someone's keys uh, out out on the sidewalk. You know, their car keys, you know, just a big ring of keys. Oh. Yeah, and I, I figured out which car it belongs to. I, I, I checked it in ev- with every car in the parking lot. But there's a problem. What's that? Uh, I, I was in the back of their car. You know, I was inside their car when they got in. It was like one of those big cars with three seats. They didn't see me back there. But uh, I, I, like, I just kind of hid back there while they drove to a restaurant up the street. And then when they got in the restaurant, I got out and I drove the car back to the hotel and I parked it. How did they drive it? Well, they must have had a second set of keys. Because, you know, it's like a family. There's like a man and a woman and a couple kids. Thank God those kids didn't come back there and see me. That would have been freaky. Well, what what restaurant? I don't know. I was just a little bit panicked. So uh, I still had my set of keys, and I brought it back, and I parked it in their same spot, and I put the keys in the little visor, the sun visor thing. Yeah, I think ideally probably you should have called me, and I had to come pick you up. You wouldn't pick me up. Right, well, right now they're probably reporting a stolen vehicle. I know. They're going to be so confused when they get back. And it's just sitting there. They're going to be, like, questioning reality. Like, like, how did we even get here? What, what room number are you in? Like, if I were to just... If I could just figure out where their keys are supposed to be, like, if we could figure out what their room number is, I could put their keys back in their room. And they would never know the keys had ever been missing. And they'd, they'd be like, how the hell did we get to that restaurant? Well, I'm uh, actually outside right now. Okay, yeah, but what room number are you in? Oh, I I don't need anyone to come to my room. I I don't want to get in trouble for any of this stuff. I just, like, I was hoping you could just, you know, tell them I'm sorry. Yeah. Because, you know, I I didn't mean to, like, I didn't steal their car. I brought it back, right? No, no, you you actually stole it. No, because I... Took it from the restaurant, and I, I brought it back to where they they are. No, fact, no. Well, the problem be. is you. Problem is you actually. You got in the car that wasn't yours. I was trying to figure out you, who owned it. Was, and then and then it doesn't matter. You got into somebody's car. <laughs> that's like when you see someone's you, headlights on <laughs> at the grocery store. You have to get in there and turn them off for them. You good neighbor. Yeah, it, 
No, and then, you, but then you then you drove the car away from the restaurant at which they drove to. Yeah, but they're they're just gonna think they're crazy. No, no, like, actually, they're gonna think someone stole their car. Yeah, but when they come back back to the hotel and their car's just sitting there, like, what are they gonna think? What do you think they'll think? You don't have any idea where what restaurant this was. I it looked like one of the steakhouse type. I don't know. It was like a nice restaurant. I, it wasn't a, it, but it, like you know, they left the hotel and they turned right and went up there and you know all those eateries and stuff. Yeah, you're standing right outside the front door. No, I never said that. No, you said you're standing outside. Well, I said I'm. I said I'm outside. But I, you won't. You're not going to see me on the cameras or anything. If you're looking for me. No. Okay. No. The the only thing I can do is I'm I'm behind those uh, trailer trucks. And you're a guest here. Yes. Yeah, I'll be here for one more night. Well, what are you doing? Well. I'm trying to think how how you're gonna deal with this. Well, I'm do- I'm done. Like we can hang up. I, I just I wanted to let you know. Okay. Just, just could you just apologize to those people because they were probably very confused. They're, they're wow. probably right now. I mean, probably they're still eating right now. But when they get done eating, they're gonna come out and be like, "Oh my gosh!" So I mean, it'll just be normal at that point because it'll just be a stolen car. But then when they get back, they're going to feel so dumb. No, they're gonna no, be like, they're going to be... They're going to be like, did we walk to the restaurant? That's fine. No, they're, they're going to be thinking that they spent an awful lot of time with the police filling out a police report. That's five miles down the road. It's kind of funny when you think about it, is what I'm saying. No, no it's, it's really not. <laughs> what this is kind of like if someone did this to you at your house. What a predicament I've gotten myself into. Yeah. Well, no, this, I mean, this is more like... If, you, you, you've really got to stop and try and figure out what restaurant this this is. Okay, I'm going to get on my phone and I'm going to look on Google Maps. And you're going to need, and you're gonna need to figure out, check check their Navi or whatever. Oh, you know, whoa. The last place it drove to. So I'm gonna you get, need to get that car back there. I'm going to get back into their car. And mess with their navy. And I'm, I'm gonna fiddle you around need to with get it. that car back there, and you need to take an Uber home. What? What if they? What if they spot me? Like, what if I park in a different spot? They're like, wait a minute, we didn't park there. I don't think your plan I'm, is foolproof. I'm offering you nothing more than the chance to just get that car back to them. So, uh, I might get lost. I'm not from here. I'm I'm from Georgia. Yeah, but it's a. This is a really bad situation. I know, like, because I feel like I'm going to go there, and the place, they got a good parking spot, like, up front. I'm not going to get that parking spot again. Like, what if they're sitting, uh, what would, if they're sitting at the windows? and I would, they, I would give it an awful good try to get it to where it is. Oh, that sounds scary. I don't want to do it. Can you just explain to them? No, I, I can't because chances are good. I'm not going to know because the car wasn't stolen from here. I wish I knew how far it actually was. It felt like an eternity hiding in those back seats. But, you know, like it's it's hard to tell because I'm not used to. I mean, didn't they commit a crime? I got kidnapped. Nope. That would have been you breaking and entering into their car. Yeah, but I was... I didn't ask to be taken to the restaurant. You might want to call the, the police and have them oh, no. help you figure this one out. Nope, I got four strikes. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, well, thanks for listening to my story, at least, and please tell them I'm very sorry about the entire incident. I'm very embarrassed. I was just trying to do the right thing. Yeah... All right. I was. I was trying to find the owner of the keys. (laughs) 
Next thing I know, right. I'm, a, I'm a kidnapping victim. Well, I'm, I'm sure that the police are probably going to check you on that one. Okay. So, <laughs> if good, they, good luck to you. If they know who I am. <laughs> well, the only thing I can do is if, if if they come back here, the only thing I can give them is the phone number from which you called. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna I'm I'm hanging out behind these uh, trailer trucks right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and come back up to the hotel and get some sleep. All right. All right. Bye. Yeah. I just wanted to tell him that so he'll watch on the cameras for somebody walking from where the trucks park, hanging out behind him like a creep. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Tyler. I'm um. I, I work over here at the gas station across the street. Okay. And we we've um we've we've got a telescope over here, and we can see into the windows at your hotel, and there are naked people in there. <gasps> So is there any, any way you can just tell those people to close their curtains? Because we don't need to see that. Oh, that's crazy. What do you mean it's crazy? That's crazy. What? I mean, they're naked, in their, they're, they're naked in their rooms, sir. Oh, my God. What? Okay, sir. Can you tell what floor they're on? Uh, Well, they're up on the higher floors because the lower ones are a little bit blocked by trees. And you're the way facing the road. Yeah, what we're with, we're at the Shell Station. At the Shell, the Shell Station, so they're on this side. Yeah, yeah, and we we have a it's like a high power telescope, and we we get when we aim it at the windows, we can see like you, full frontal nudity, both male and female, and uh, I don't like that. I'm a Christian. And you're, and you're on the Shell is in, uh, okay. I'm I'm on the roof of the Shell. I work here. Okay. Okay, sir. So but, yeah, we, I'm gonna, we keep, oh, thank you for that. Sir. We're gonna try. This. Yeah, I'm we sorry. just we keep a telescope up here, and you know, like uh, uh, just kind of stargaze and look around. We have we're on we're on four. We have four levels. Can you tell? Is it the top level? Oh, there was one it? on the top level, and then there was one uh, two levels down. So I guess the the so second. So they're on both levels. Well, yeah. Well, it's like sure. s- separate people are are naked. And in, in inside their rooms, and they don't have the curtains all the way shut. Oh, okay. okay. They should, okay. like, we shouldn't have um, to look at that, especially the males. Yes. I don't want to look at males. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you for that, picture. So I'm going to I didn't, look them up, pull up our I didn't wake up this morning and thinking I was going to have to look at dicks. <laughs> yes, sir, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Sorry about that. Sir. I'm gonna call up to you, and if you can call back and see if it doesn't change. Okay, thank talk. you so much. I'm gonna continue scanning all the windows with my telescope to ensure that I don't right. see naked people. All right, thank you, sir. You have a good day. You too. Goodbye. Right. <laughs> what the hell is that? He he seems so serious at first, like he was really sorry for offending me. So, what do you guys think? Is he actually gonna phone up people? on that side of the building and try to convince them to put some clothes on. Man, I wish we still could call hotel rooms easier because that'd be fun to call a room and say, I'm Shell. Like, hey, you, your curtains are open just a little bit. I can see in there. Very important. This is front desk. Hello, ma'am. Yes. I am a guest here at this hotel. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. And I found somebody's keys. So I looked, I looked, I checked the keys in all the cars in the parking lot, and I figured out which one it belonged to. Okay. So, part two of the story is, uh, I was uh, walking back toward my room or something, and the family that owns the car, they came out and they got in their car, and they drove to Crackle Barrel. Next okay. door. Uh-huh. Can you believe that for one thing? They drove okay. to Crackle Barrel. Uh-huh. I mean, why couldn't they just walk? It's like right there. Next door. You know? Okay. Yeah. So, ma'am, I, I still have their keys. So, I'm, I'm going to get in their van, and I'm going to drive it back to the hotel. And then park it back at the hotel in their parking spot. Um, okay, okay, okay. 
Hold okay. on. Okay. So I you have think your, that's going to I have your cause permission. A problem? What? I feel, I feel like that's going to cause a problem. So where is the car right now? Uh, it, they parked it at the Crackle Barrel, and they went inside. I think they're going in there to eat. Okay. And you found the keys. Yeah, I found their keys. I've already been in their, their car once. I, I looked through their glove box. And, and the, you know, I figured out who the, who they were so I could... I was going to go give them their keys back. Um, do you want to go back inside the whole, um, the Cracker Bear? Do you, do you know the people? Uh, is yeah, I, I know who they the are key? now, but I think I'm going to... I think instead, I'm going to just get in their car. I'm going to drive it right back to the hotel and park, no, in, no, no, the, park in their parking space. Don't do that because they're not going to like that. So, or you can just come over here to the hotel, give me the keys, and I'll leave a note on the car. Yeah, but you know what? They, 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 they walked. I, I mean, they, they drove to Crackle Barrel. They could have just walked. It's it's just across the parking lot. Yeah, but you leave the car there. I wouldn't get in there. Don't get in there. I don't think that's the right thing. Just bring oh. me the keys to me, and I'll leave a note on the car. Well, well can, can, I, can I bring... Okay, I'm going to bring... I'm going to drive their car back to the hotel. And I'm going to park it in their parking spot, and then I'll bring you the keys. Why don't you just go inside the Cracker Bear and give them their keys if you know who they are? Well, I think they need to learn a, a lesson about maybe just walking. You know, like uh, walking a little bit more. Like, Because, come on, it's it's right next door, ma'am. It's, it's a nice day. Yes, but you know, some people don't want to walk. I understand that. Yeah, but those, like we should not be doing that. that those is, people that need to be right. taught a lesson. So now they're going to have to walk all the way back to the hotel. And then they'll have to, hopefully they'll talk to you and they'll wonder, you, you know, like, okay. are they going to, they're going the to wonder how their van got back to the hotel. What are you going to tell them? Well, what is your name, sir? Steve. Steve, uh, last name? Oh, no, I don't want to be looked up. Okay, I, so don't touch the car, because I will look you up. Please do not touch the car. Just oh, well, bring I, the key I, won't, over. I won't tell you my last name. Just leave the car where it is. Just bring the keys to me or give it to the person in Cracker Bear, to a manager in the Cracker Bear. Don't I will not touch the car. Okay. It, well, will, I'm just, it will get you in problems. Don't do that. I've already driven it once. I, I I drove um just down the street to the McDonald's. So you drove it already? Yeah, yeah, just through the drive-through. I went through the drive-through and I got McDonald's. Got me some lunch. So I mean it's fine. I'm a good driver. Okay, I'm gonna drive it back to the hotel, and I'll be right in with the keys. Okay. Is that good with you? So, okay. Okay, so you are giving me permission and recommending that I drive the van back to the hotel. I, I'm not giving you permission, but if that's what you're going to do, okay, go for it. Okay, all right. So you've given me your okay. Thank you for the permission. I'm going to get in this van and drive right over. Okay, just give me the keys. Oh, I will. Okay. I'm going to look through their glove box. I think it was with Milkbox a few weeks ago when I was on his show for some reason. Like Dragon Mirror and Wasted Memory, they're always driving the car away and leaving it somewhere else. And we were trying to figure out a way to have the car drive away and us bring it back because that's not theft. I don't think we ever got anywhere with that on his show, but it's working a little bit better now, even though nobody's really getting emotional about it and yelling at me. Thank you for calling the. If you're calling to make a reservation, please press 1. To speak with a guest, please press 2. To reach our front Ooh. desk staff, press 0. I'm going to try a guest. Hello. Hey, uh, this is the front desk. Yes, yeah, sir. Hey, um, we have cameras in the rooms, and we see that you're in there. You're, you're tampering with the smoke detector. You can't do that, okay? Don't do no, that. No, sir, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. We know I you are. What's that? No, I haven't. Well, no, we have a camera in there. We can. We were watching you. We were watching you when you were doing it. So, I'm in room one twenty one, and no, sir, I haven't touched the smoke detector. Well, the cameras don't lie. So, look, just don't touch it again, okay? We we don't want any trouble. All right, I didn't touch it, but are you sure? 
You yes, s- sir. I'm positive. You seem kind of sketchy when you came in here. Sketchy? Yeah, I don't know. It just seemed a little on the sketchy side. No, sir. Okay, I'm just kidding. What are you watching on TV? I've got the news on. What's happening on the news? Well, they were telling about the the uh, fire that was going on, and then they had a deal just as I was walking in. They were reporting on the people who got shot. Oh, that's cheerful stuff. I wish I watched more news. I just prefer to stay uninformed. Well, the big deal is, is I get kind of I get kind of bored when I'm not working. Normally, I'm working ten, twelve hours a day, but it's just getting started. So you should make prank calls I like I do, and, sir. I said you should make prank calls like I do. <laughs> crank calls. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I just sit here at the front desk and I call up the rooms. Like you can direct dial the rooms from your room, and like we can't even tell who who called. You ought to just prank call everyone in this hotel. Oh no, I don't do that. Yeah, like just go crazy on the third floor. Everyone on the third floor, they're a bunch of assholes. <laughs> no, I, I've I've enjoyed staying here. To be truthful with you. Oh, that's good. I've only been here a few days, and it's been I like it because it's quiet. To be truthful with you. I have a question. If you dropped your car keys yeah. in the hallway and somebody found them. Would you prefer that they turn the car keys in, or would you want them to go around the parking lot and check the car keys on every single car so that they could get in? I'd rather them have them turn them in. Yeah, what if the front desk person is dishonest? I, I would, I would, I would have them. I would want, I would want them to turn them in. Okay, well, some guest was asking me. You know, they they actually found someone's keys, and, and they didn't turn them in. And then they uh, they ended up driving their car. They got in the guy's car and, and drove it back from the steakhouse. Oh hell! And parked it in their parking spot. Mm-mm-mm. It was a mess. I imagine it was. Sir, uh, is is there anyone living next door to you? I don't know. I haven't seen anybody coming in, going out of either side of me. Are there any room numbers that you absolutely know are occupied? Uh, the one down on the end, there was a gentleman that I met last night when I was coming in. I would went and got me some uh, stuff over at the dollar, dollar store, and I came in. Young black gentleman, uh, had shorts, kind of athletic. Mm-hmm. Hey, can you get like a piece of paper and a pen and just walk around your entire floor and write down every single room number that there is and whether or not it's occupied? Can you knock on each door and ask if it's occupied? (laughs) No, I'm not going to do that. Come on. I don't want to get nobody upset. Oh, no. Well, tell them it's the front desk. Ask him. (laughs) I understand, but no, I don't do that. Okay, so you're in 122 or 121? 121. Oh, 122 is the, the guy messing with the smoke detector. I need to call him up and yell you at him. probably do. Yeah, because he's, go. he's going to set this whole place on fire. Your next door neighbor. That won't be good. All right, I love you. Take care, man. Okay, I, I will. I love you. Bye-bye. Goodbye, I love you. Wow, that was too easy. I have a list in one of my notebooks. Hotels that allow direct dialing. I'm looking for that now so I can add this number to the list. It actually took me a couple of tries to get that guy to answer. First, I tried 133, which gave me a fast busy or an error or something. I assume that means nobody's staying in there or they don't go up that high. And then 122, they just didn't answer. And 121 was that nice old man. I'm going to continue to go backwards and try number 120. I'm not having any luck with any room numbers. I've called about 20 of them now. Here, let me try something different. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling West Grand Suites. This is Tiffany. May I assist you with a reservation? Hey, Tiffany. It's it's Jim from the IT department. Hi, Jim. How are you? Oh, pretty good. Um, is there anybody in room 127? 
Uh, there he is. Oh, are they are they not home then? Or are they just they just have their phone off the hook? Uh, I have no clue why that phone works in there. I, I, the lady was there earlier. Oh, okay. Well, what's going on? Oh, uh, we just uh, we, we weren't re- receiving the registration information on our end, where we could tell who's in which rooms. Like, do you know which rooms on the first floor are occupied? Uh, pretty much all of them. Oh. Except 103, 109, 117, 123, 128. Those, those are not... And this is who again with IT? Oh, this, this is Dave. Yeah, I can check here again. I'll, I'll make sure they're coming through. But... Okay, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Ah! That's the noise I make when I mess up a call. <laughs> you guys, I... I'm pretty sure I told her a different name the first time. I messed up what I was asking her, but she did tell me somebody's in room 127. So let's try that. Hello. Hi, ma'am. This is Greg oh. from the front desk. Hi. Hi. Uh, do you have a breaker box in your room? I do. Oh, okay, great. Uh, it seems like... Can you flip something? Yeah, well, your room hasn't been reset. So it's still the previous oh. room's settings. Yeah, could you just oh, I see. could you shut all of those off? How many are there? Uh, let me see. Sorry, we're trying to light up. Ten. Ten. What's that? You said that there was ten. Oh yeah, could you turn them all off? That's a lot of switches for one room. <laughs> Is there a lot of high voltage equipment in there? No, oh, actually, I was just thinking of bringing crap in here. Are the are the switches are the switches labeled? They're all the way to the right now. I mean, yeah, they're all the way to the right. Just flip them and then flip them back on. Oh, you flipped them back on. Does it work is, now? Well, is it um? Are any of them labeled? What do they say? Oh, let me see. Sorry, I gotta try to get the phone over this way. This old school. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the lights are working. They're pretty. Oh yeah, everything's working. Um. See. Room lights, bathroom counter receipt. Don't seem, that's it. It doesn't say anything else. Oh, the other okay, ones. Okay, now it says refrigerator, refrigerator, microwave, country receipt. Um, they're Con- country receipts. One says country and one says re- like says count. I'm sorry, counter receipt. It's oh, counter receipt. receptacle. It's for the, okay, sorry. I couldn't see without my glasses. <laughs> it's okay. And then there are, are there others? And that's there? it. Oh, that's it. Uh, then there is, like I said, that was, yeah, that's pretty much it. The range, or I, was, I think I already told you the range. So let me start from the top. There's room lights and, re- and what's it called? Oh, receptacles. Or I thought it was receipt. It's a fancy receptacles. English word, I think. Okay. Okay. So I just receipt. call them plugs. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, I can't see you. I can't. I I don't have my glasses. So oh, it's, it's okay. Me. Were you watching yeah, TV? Sorry. I'm, I'm actually trying to get ready for work. So. Oh, okay. Um, can you get behind the toilet real quick? We're gonna need you to to, to adjust the the toilet valve. I, uh, to, just to be okay. Why well, wasn't this done yesterday? I've been here over 24 hours already. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying. We just need a precision adjustment, valve? and we're showing that okay. there's just a little bit too much water going in there. So if you just turn it a half a half a turn to the left. Okay, a little to the left. All right. Okay, we'll 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 continue to measure okay. the. I turned, I turned it. Yeah, I turned it. Oh dear! Did you turn it to the to the left? Is the left counterclockwise? No, I, left is counterclockwise. I think I was right thinking of that song, like to the left, to the left. Okay, so well, I'm sorry. I have to get ready for it. What would you do? Oh, uh, your 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 uh, phone is cutting out a little bit. What's happening? Is that a cordless? Okay, it, because this is a this is an old phone that is connected. This is like a 1980s phone that's connected to a wire still. This is not my cell phone. Oh, I see. I'm trying to I'm trying to take a shower, get ready for work, and stretch this. Oh, so did you need me to turn it or? 
Oh, yeah, I just turned just a little bit to the left. To the left or to the, the right, right now? Because you've confused me. Oh, I think to the left, to the left. Isn't that Beyonce or something? To the left. No, sir, you told me to the left. Okay, I don't have time for jokes. Is this, you need to turn it to the left oh, a little bit? Yes, please. Uh, about I apologize. I'm sorry. I am so running late, and this is, okay, it's, it's turned. I've turned oh, it a little you. to the left. Thank you. All right. Okay, thank you. Next, uh-huh. next okay. job. Next job. Uh, in your closet, there is a hat. <laughs> she hung up on me, and she was yelling something as I was talking. Hold on. Let me rewind and try to hear what she was saying. I can't tell what she's saying, but I think I heard her say, oh, shit, and she's getting ready to go to work. It's the middle of the day. What, is she lazy or something? So that makes me want to try even more numbers and to see if I can get another person to pick up. I wanted to get her to do another task, but she just goes and hangs up on me. Hello? Hey, sir, this this is Grega from the front desk. Yeah. This is room 125, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we've been getting reports that you have been being a real motherfucker in there. So can you please huh? can you please just not be a, such a motherfucker? I ain't even doing that. I'm just in my room laying in the bed. Oh, I know, I know. It's It's just that... Uh, we have a very strict no motherfucker policy, and somebody told us that you were being kind of a motherfucker. What you mean by that? Oh, uh, you know, just in general, just being a real motherfucker. Nah, I ain't been doing none of that. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm I can, I can kind of hear it in your voice. You sound like you've been up to some motherfuckery. Nah. Like, what? when's nah, the last nah, time... Yeah. When's the last time you got up to any motherfuckery, sir? I don't do all that. What's that? I don't do all that now. I know, but not not now. But when's the last time that you got up into some motherfuckery? I don't, do, I don't do that. At, I don't do that at all. Like, what? When's the last time, though? I don't do none of that. How long has it been? I don't do that, sir. You're you're, you're be being playing. kind of a motherfucker <laughs> right now, not answering my question. So, so what? You, what do you mean? Uh, can you just please not be a motherfucker anymore? Yeah. Where did they come from? Where did what come from? Oh, uh, this this uh, being a motherfucker. Oh, this guy down the hall. He's like, there's this guy yeah. down the hall, and he just seems like a real motherfucker. Well, they got wrong, then. Hey, um, can you can you get up and look in your breaker box? We're going to have to run a series of tests. Uh, what you got to see? Uh, we're going to turn off all the breakers and turn them back on. Oh, wait, no. We're going to turn them all, all off, right. and we're going to leave them off for the rest of your stay just to save money. No, nah, not, if, not, not if I pay. Just, nah, can't just do turn them all off. No, nah, we can't do that. Yet. Not if I didn't pay. Well, we can't do it from down here, so you have to do it. No, nah, no. Nah. Hey, but uh, did y'all ever get them other rooms clean? Um, well, you know, like some of them we did, and some of them we didn't. So we trying to, uh, I was trying to see. Um, well, why? Do you want to move? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, me and my, me and my, uh, roommate was trying. We were trying to get a two bed. Oh, I see. Well, the, the that room's gonna have the same strict no motherfucker policy as this one. Well, you ain't gonna have to worry about no motherfuckers, then. Why do you say that? Cause there ain't gonna be no motherfuckers in the room. Is your room is your is your roommate a motherfucker also? Nah, we ain't no motherfuckers. We grown men. We don't have time to be motherfuckers. We trying to get some money. Are you sure when when he, when you're not around, maybe he's in there being a motherfucker? Nah, cause I'm in here by myself right now. Where's your Where's your I mean, roommate? After the, he at work. He ain't booked the wrong yet. Is he at work being a motherfucker? Nah. I bet he's being a real motherfucker at work. Nah. Well, we trying to see, though. We trying to figure something out. Uh, you should ask the front desk then. I bet you they'll help you out. I mean, we'll help you out. Alright, All right, let me tell you. Playing yeah. on phones don't, get, don't, don't work too good. Playing on phones? Yeah. 
What do you mean playing on phones? I wouldn't. I would never play man, on the phone. Man, playing on phones, calling people motherfuckers. You don't get no good karma from me. Old Noah. <laughs> you're you know, just like you're, you're like Earl and Randy. Like you're staying in a hotel yeah. and you're sleeping in one bed. Does he clip your toenails? No, everybody don't play. I know, but is know he, they right. does he clip your toenails it when you're sleeping? It ain't no joke. I know. I ain't, ain't no joke. Stop fucking playing with grown folks. Play, play you don't know. Man, that was amazing. Like I was already thinking he was just like Earl, staying in a single bedroom with Randy. Then he starts talking to me about karma. And I'm like, you're a Carson Daly fan too. And he's probably right. Karma's on its way to get me again. You know, this place looks like a nice place. This this one I've been calling rooms at, but it's apparently got people living there. It's like $86 per day. I'm sure there's a discount if you do per week, but still, that's got to be pricey. I mean, I guess unless you split it up between you and a roommate. Thank you for calling Town Place Suites by Marriott. At any time during this message, you may press zero to reach a hotel staff member. If you know the hotel staff member's extension, please dial it now. For reservations, press two. For sales, press three. You are being transferred to a guest. Holy shit, another one? I'm sorry, the person you're trying to reach is unavailable at this time. Begin speaking after the tone. That is awesome. Okay, I'm going to try just a couple of this one now. See if I can get connected to a room. I'm sorry. The person you're trying to reach is unavailable at this time. Okay, I'm going to stop calling guests at this hotel because uh, nobody will pick up. I got one person, but they were boring. And what was cool about that one, I'm going to write this down in my notebook too so I can do this later at night because right now it is uh, like 430 over there where I'm calling, so who's going to be in their hotel room at 4.30 unless they're sleeping while their roommate's at work? You know, people stay in hotels. They're they're out doing things right now. You got to make the calls to them late at night. But what was cool about that one is uh, when I, I was just guessing at room numbers, and when I would pick one that was occupied by a guest, it would say this. You are being transferred to a guest. And if I picked one that was not occupied, and this is just my assumptions, I could be wrong, but it would say this. You are being transferred to one, two, one. You know, it would just give the room number instead of saying a guest. I don't know. I like that system, and I hope that works out for some fun late night phone calls. Oh, hi. I'm in the electrical room right now. I'm a guest, and I was trying to turn off all the power to my room. How do I do that? Wait. I'm sorry? I want to turn on... I'm in the... Okay, so down the hall, there's this room called this electrical room, and it's got all Are these... Are you a guest here? Yeah, I'm a guest. So I've been I've been flipping switches in here. Do you know which sorry, one... You, you, you should not be in that room at all. Oh, no, I'm in here. L- listen, I can flip switches. Like, see, like... Th- that. You, 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 you need to please but get it, out of that room? No, sir, I'm trying to figure out how to turn off the, the breaker in my room because there's no breaker box in my room. I can send somebody up to help you with that. Well, no, but, sir, for the time being, you need to get out that room. Well, no, I don't want them to see my room, though. I just I just want to shut off all the power to my you, room. You don't... You, where, where somebody's going to meet you at the electric room right, right now. Oh, no, that's okay. I don't really need that. But, sir, I, I covered the surfaces of everything in my room with Vaseline. And I don't know if that conducts electricity. So I just want to shut off all the power to be safe. Okay. Well, I'm not actually sure how to do that, but a maintenance person can come up and help you. Because my, my bed's not even grounded. I looked at it, and it's not grounded. So somebody I, will be able to help you shortly, sir. So I, I don't want to be you know, sleeping on there and in the middle of the night, and then the, all of a sudden, the, the I, don't, I don't know, the Vaseline drips on on something and then electrocutes me uh, sir you're you're not listening i can have somebody up to you shortly okay but are, are you are you listening i don't i don't want anyone in my room because i don't nobody's want nobody's going to go in your room okay because i don't want them to see all the vaseline okay like i've, well, I've coated we don't the, have to go in the room unless you actually have to i've coated the walls to, like, i've coated the walls and i've coated the carpet with vaseline the walls the carpet the light switches the plugs the light bulbs. That's a good reason to want the power out, right? Just in case. Thank you for 
calling a higher place. Well, how may I help you? Hey, uh, I am a guest here at the hotel. And um, mm-hmm. I, I'm using the Wi-Fi, you know? Yeah. The, the free Wi-Fi. And I've hacked into uh, another guest's computer who's also using the Wi-Fi. And, sir, she's... I'm watching her on her webcam. She is covering her walls with Vaseline. Like, she's just covering the surface of, of everything in her room with Vaseline. And I'm kind of afraid to, to be staying here with somebody like that in the hotel. Like, what's she? why is she doing that? That's a good question. Um, so like what have you huh? hacked into her... Why have you hacked into her webcam is my question. Oh, uh, I just, uh, I just, I'm a security, uh, security, uh, hobbyist, I guess. And I have a lot of hacking tools and it's pretty much child's play to just, uh, you know, hook up to one of the computers on the network and, and just start looking around at their files and their webcam and you can do anything you want when you connect to someone on their, on a public Wi-Fi. But, I mean, like, I can see in her suitcase, she has a bunch of Vaseline. It's like the generic Walmart brand. And, like, she's got all these things of it. And she's just coating the walls and the TV and everything I can see in in, uh, Vaseline. And I don't know why. It's freaky. Okay. Um... What is her room number, and what is your room number? Oh, well, I, I don't have a way to tell her room number, because... What is your room number? Well, I don't need anyone coming up. I'm not even in my room right, right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not in my room. But, yeah, I'm just, I've been sitting here but for like an hour number? watching this lady, and she just keeps coating everything in Vaseline. Like, I think she's doing the floors. I can't really see the carpet, but she keeps getting down on the floor with containers of Vaseline. I think she's covering the carpet in Vaseline. And I don't mean, be, I don't mean to be perverted, but she's naked. She's mostly naked. So maybe it's a sex thing. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not some Vaseline weirdo. How do you figure out who's doing this? <laughs> this can't be real. Oh no, no it's real. I, I hack into uh, pretty much any place I go publicly. I just start looking on the free Wi-Fi and and looking in people's computers to see what they're up to. You probably but, shouldn't do that, man. <laughs> oh, I don't know. If, I don't think that's illegal. Just Wi-Fi no, security's I, not I, very good. I think that is kind of illegal. Like, do you have all their personal information and stuff? Yeah, but I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm a nice person. See, I'm, I'm like using the information that I found to alert you that there is a lady in your hotel, and oh my gosh, your TV. Is this call coming from Royston, Georgia? Uh, well, my that's where my phone is. You know, that's where, that's your where phone I'm. Is I'm from? Well, yeah, that's where I'm. I'm here from. Like, I'm staying here from Royston. Okay. What? What's your name? Why? Uh, I'm just wondering, so I can. Oh, yeah, hold on one moment. Okay. <laughs> Do you know the name of the lady? Uh, no, no. I could pop up a window on our computer and say, hey, what's your name? It'll look like it's coming from the computer, though. Uh, probably not do that. Is there a manager there? Uh, not on site right now, no. I'd like to hear what they have to say about this lady. Yeah, um, I don't know if... They would... Oh, okay. This is weird. Okay. Um, oh, she's still going at it. <laughs> she just threw another uh, container away and like that. Well, 
And she's starting on another one. It's it's like an endless suitcase of Vaseline jars. All right. Um, I I just say um, don't hack into anyone's. Uh, well, I'm gonna keep watching her. I'm gonna keep watching her because I mean, you should see this. She smeared Vaseline all over the plug. You know, like the little plug in the walls. And then, like, oh, so, so. There, there's a picture on the wall. She smeared it all over the picture. She's just covering everything in Vaseline. This seems expensive so, to remove. So why did you call, exactly? I just thought you should know, but I thought there'd be a way for you to, like, maybe you could just stand outside of doors and just kind of smell. Because I, I, I think Vaseline... Does does Vaseline smell? I don't know. No, not really. Oh, well, shoot. I guess that's no good. I'm sorry. I don't use a lot of Vaseline could, myself. Could I have a name and phone number? To what? Uh, to y- your name. Oh, uh, it's Steve. I'm from Royston. Steve? Yeah. I'm gonna like, like I'm trying to track down her wireless signal. I think she might be on my floor. So I'm just gonna knock on some doors here in the hall. Uh, like, maybe if I knock, I'll, she'll have to. Cause I'm I'm walking around with my laptop, so I'm still watching her. But I've got it on a small window, so they're not gonna they're not gonna see. Oh, I don't think there's anyone here at this place though. What, what is your last name? Would knock like a cop. That'll get him to come out. I don't want to give my last last name, but just Steve's fine. How are we gonna catch this Vaseline lady? Like, nobody's even answering their doors now. But I guess it's because well, it's the middle I'd, of the day. Yeah. Why'd the manager go home so early? What a lazy piece of shit. Uh, listen, I gotta take other calls right now. Uh, who's, who's calling in? Where are they from? I, I don't know. I can't tell you that. Well, you were showing off with your caller ID skills earlier, and what, you can't tell me where they're calling from? No, because I'm on this call currently. Oh, I see. If I call back, can yeah. you? Uh, maybe later. Um, don't hang up yet. Things are heating up in the Vaseline situation. She's moved her camera uh, to the other side of the room, and she has coated the entire, like, her door with Vaseline. And I'm zooming in and stuff, but I still cannot see her room number. It's not written on the inside of the door, is it? Do you know what floor you're on? Well, I'm on the third floor. Okay. All right, hold on. I'm going to take this other call real quick. If you do that, I'll hang up. So what? I'll hang up if you take that call. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the call. Just, just watch me. I'm going to hang up. And you won't have to deal with me anymore. All right, I showed him. Thank you for calling the World Winter Western. My name is Tiana. How may I help you? Hey, Tiana. I'm a guest here. Uh, I'm uh, staying here right now. And um, I'm, using okay. your, I'm using your Wi-Fi. Okay. And, um, well, I've, I've I've hacked into one of the other guests, you know, who's on the Wi-Fi. And I'm watching them through their webcam. And I don't know what he's up to, but he is coding. He's smearing Vaseline all over everything in his room. And it's weird. Oh. I've been watching them do this so you, for like 30 minutes. So you, Sorry, what? You, you hacked into the computer? Yeah, yeah. It's really Are easy. You, I have hacking tools that I downloaded from the internet. Do you know what room he's in? No, I can't tell because it looks just like my room. But it's definitely not but my he's room. He's smearing Vaseline everywhere? Yeah, he's coating the surface of everything with Vaseline. Like it, his TV... 
the the plugs on the walls, like switches, and the the picture that's up there, the painting, the lamp. Okay. I'm just saying what well, I can. There's nothing that we can do if we don't know the room he's in. <laughs> well, can you just knock, um, knock on every door? This is freaking me out. What's he doing? Okay, I will. Um, I can see in his suitcase. Let- what? You can see in his suitcase? Yeah, but I can see that he's got a bunch of Vaseline in there, like a bunch of containers. So I, I think I, he, I'm not sure what that would be doing. I, I think he intends to coat the, the surface of everything with Vaseline. The air conditioner, the carpet. He keep I can't see the carpet, but he keeps getting down on the carpet like he's smeared it on the carpet. Okay. I'm not sure what that would be done for. <laughs> I don't um, either. It's all over him. It's a mess. And he's pretty much naked. I'm having to sit here and watch this and he's naked. Okay. So I will let management know and I don't know what they're gonna be able to do from that. Well, this is the management so there. What room are you in? Yes, management is in, in their office. Oh, I want to hear what they say about it. Let's talk to them. Well, you can come to the front desk and speak with them. Well, why can't I just talk to them on the phone? Because I'm, I can't transfer you to them. I will go speak to them. Uh, why can't you transfer me? I mean, I, Because I, they're I, not in their office. They're at the front desk. I can keep an eye on this weird pervert for them. The smear Vaseline everywhere. Okay, I'll let them know. Thank you, sir. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I'll hold while you go let them <laughs> I thought it'd be more realistic if the Vaseline person was a man. Because, come on, women don't smear Vaseline all over everything in their room. That's a man thing. Good evening. Thank you for calling the wards with the rest of the element. Hey, uh, I'm a guest here. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm walking around the hallways. I'm, I'm knocking on doors. I hope that's okay. I'm trying to figure out who this guy is. I, I've hacked into his, uh, his computer. Um, sir, what you, what, no, what you need to do is to go to the front desk. Oh no, no, I'm go not going to the front desk. I'm knocking on doors right now. You're not going l- l- Listen, I'm no, I'm no, watch- you have no no you you're not supposed to be knocking on people's doors. Okay, well that's what I'm doing cuz I'm I'm trying to Well, I- you're not supposed to knock on people's doors. Go to the front desk I'm, if you have a problem. I'm politely but You're not supposed to knock on nobody's door. I'm politely knocking. I'm just trying to figure out <laughs> me. I barely even needed a premise with that lady. I just said one little thing and she freaks out at me. Thank you for calling the web. Oh, hello. Uh, I'm using your Wi-Fi right now. You know, I'm a guest here. Ma'am? Okay. And uh, I've I've hacked into the computer of another hotel guest, and I'm watching him on his webcam, and he, he is smearing Vaseline all over everything in his room. So what do we do about that? Okay. Well, do you know what room he's in? No. No, because the, the what room are you in? It doesn't show his room. Well, it doesn't matter which one I'm what in. Room? I'm connected through. Okay, um, it co- doesn't matter what room you're in, and you have you cannot hack someone's information. Oh yes, so you I have can. Any other issues? With Ma'am, that? I've hacked. No, you cannot. That is I've illegal. Hacked, I've hacked. So if you three, have any other issues, I've hacked three computers okay, in this so hotel. So if you have any other issues, that's fine. The other, if you have any other issues, you can come to the front desk. We told here, you that lady, before. The other two people I hacked. All right, there she goes. <laughs> I don't know if that's the same lady. I tried the same number back again. Hello, guest services. May I help you, please? Oh, hey. Uh, I'm in the electrical room. Um, I don't know. It's like this. There, there's a bunch of switches in here. Uh, who who and, is this? Oh, I'm I'm a guest. I'm just staying here tonight. And I was trying to figure out which switch would control the lights that are going to be outside my window. Oh, so you can't be in there. How do you get in there? What? Well, uh, I just jimmied the door open, but it's okay. I, I didn't hurt it or anything. I'm just like, do you know which switches I would turn off the parking lot lights with? Oh, uh, I, I don't want no. those shining in my window. Oh, honey, you can't do that. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, well, Thank I'm, you for calling La Quinta by window, oh, hey. where our hotel to help you wake up the U.S., Put Canada, and Latin America. Wait. Uh, anybody there? Yeah. What what happened? They should be on their way over there. Oh, to the uh, breaker room? I'm hitting breakers right now. Yeah, Where are you? Co- Hold on. Just flipping switches. Because, like, none of these are doing anything. When I flip Which these. one are you in? Which one what? Hold on, I'm flipping switches. Hold on, I'm turning them back on. I just got to make sure. Sh- because the hallway lights went off for a second. I'm sorry about that. Uh, where exactly are you? Uh, who wants to know? Like, this what, is what? security. It's who? Site security. Site security? Yes. 
Okay, well, you know, I don't need your help. I was just trying to turn off these uh, these lights outside my window. Well, I'm not allowed to do that here, I sir. Need, I don't need them, them shining in my room when I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> That's an awesome ringtone. Yeah, thanks, but no, you can't do that. Who's, you who's, leave on. who's calling? Like, uh, are you saying that the person calling you is a spooky guy? Doesn't matter who's calling me. Well, no, I, like, because to have that ringtone, like, the spooky guy. Is it like your your creep coworker? No. What's it mean? Nothing to do. It's Halloween ringtone. That's all it is. All right, I was just complimenting your ringtone. Jeez. Well, you're not exactly telling me where you're at. Turn off a bunch of switches. You're not allowed to turn off. Uh, I'm in the the breaker room. <laughs> See, like I'm these these are breakers. Which breaker room? Because there's more than one. I, oh, is it like what, did you guys check some? I'm upstairs. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. No, you won't. If he calls back, let me know. Uh oh, if he calls back, let me know. I was on hold for about six minutes. I know it seemed like no time at all to you, but that was about six minutes of me holding, waiting for them to come back. I was just about to give up when she came back on the line. But man, that was exciting. Very suspenseful. Now that guy is running around to every electrical room. Which, really, come on, maybe he should be doing that anyway. Give him something to do. Check all the electrical rooms. Make sure there's no crazies in there. Thank you for calling Comfort in. This is Vinny. I'm happy. Sir, I'm in your electrical room. Uh, I'm a guest here. Huh? I'm a guest. And I have okay. found your uh, your room with all your fuse boxes. You know, all those circuit breakers. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm flipping switches. What, what do all these switches do? Why you are in that room, sir? Because uh, I'm, I'm just flipping. I was curious. I'm drunk. No, you can't be curious. What I'm room dr- you are in? Sir, I am drunk and I am curious. What I'm, room you are in? I'm in the electrical room. Uh, no, no, what room you are in as a guest? Oh, that doesn't matter because I'm not even in there right no, it now. it matters. Sir, it matters. I'm in the electrical room. I'm going to... I, I just want to know what these switches do, and do any of these turn off my room? If you can come here down, I can show you which room, which switch will work. Here, let me let me flip. Don't all. do anything else, sir. I'll have to call the police. I'm gonna flip all the switches, though, sir. Then I'm calling the police. No, okay? don't don't they call the police. I'm just no, trying I'm to find. Right now. I'm trying to find my switch calling, for my own room. I don't care. You can't go in there. I'm calling the police. Well, I, no, it was unlocked. Okay? It was unlocked. It doesn't matter if it is unlocked or locked. You can't go there. Oh, oh no! What's this buzzer sound? What, what's, what's that? Oh boy! What, what is I'm that, sir? Call the police. What's, what's that noise? Why oh, you there, going there? That I got it to turn off. I, I switched these can, switches. If back. you won't come out in one second, I'm calling police and they'll, they'll arrest you. Okay? One second. I'm calling them. It's gonna take me more than one second just to switch no, all these. One second. I won't give you more than I'm calling the police. I gotta okay. move all these switches back, or, or else I, I, everyone's power is gonna be off. Just, just let me turn the switches back. I'm just gonna turn them back the way they were. Sir, are you there? I'm here. I'm waiting for you to come out. Okay. Otherwise, my second phone is ready to call nine one one. Okay. Okay. I, I just, just got a, a couple more switches here. Oh no! Oh no! This, oh gee, what is? I'm not even doing anything. Hold on. Let me flip that back. Okay. There. That. That took care of that. Are you out now? Are you come out? If somebody complains, I'll go back. Wait, you have there, to come out in a minute. There's a big what red. Floor you are at? There's a big red button here, like, like it's a circle what button. Flo- what floor you are at? Can I press the red button, the circle button? It's on no. the wall. What happens? What if, floor you are at? Well, I'm I'm staying on the on the second floor, but if I pre- it, it come down to your room, what is your room number? I'm gonna, I'm gonna press this red circle button. If you whoa, cut- whoa, what's this doing? It's, it will call the. Do you have called the police now? That, that called the. In. That called the police. Yes. Oh god! Okay, it's I'm gonna. An emergency oh, button. Oh jeez! Oh shoot! I did. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I'm so sorry. I'm. I'm what is your room number? Uh, oh, I'm in the electrical room, sir. What is your room number on the second floor? Let me try the big red button. 
that that was that was less less scary that time. Did that call the police again? Yeah, he is already. I've already called the police. They are on their way. Why? Why are they they're on their way? They're going to find you out. Yeah, they're going to find you out and take you out from the hotel. Well, it's I not. It's not their people. job to to enforce. It's hotel, not your problem. Hotel if you policy. won't come out, they will catch you out. Maybe you okay? should. Maybe you shouldn't have left your electrical room open. I don't care locked. about it. You just have to come out of it. Okay, I'll come out. All right, I'm, I'm coming out of the electrical room. Oh, I was going to start walking down the hallway and knocking on doors. I really pound on him. But no, he hung up on me. And you know what? It is now 4.13 p.m., which means I've been missing the Wasted Memory show for the past 13 minutes. Oh, crap, now 14 minutes. So I'm going to get going. I'm going to go listen to some Wasted Memory, which means you're about to hear some voicemails. Hey, Brad. It's Redbeard. Hey, and, Redbeard. Um, I'm just calling to tell you you're a lazy hobo, but thank you for finally shipping out my band camp order. I was going to call and complain at you, but I looked and saw that it shipped, so uh, I'm not complaining at you. I'm just complaining at you. Also, I heard a really funny You know, thing. it's kind of like a known thing that I take a couple months to ship out things, Mr. Impatient. Today, you should use on people, and that is tell someone that they're the type of person who is making it impossible to get people to stop using the retarded one. That's all. Love you, Brad. Bye. That's a good idea. I like that idea. Blame everybody else for my insensitive language. I'll probably never remember to do that, but I'll try to. Yeah, Brad. What up? Uh, go right nine. Uh, same time towards it. Going to con. Like... All right. Thanks for that voicemail. That was a good one. I'm sorry I can't play the remaining 30 seconds of it. But I don't want to. Hey, motherfucker. This is Josh. Um, calling from South Carolina. Hello, Josh. I left a voicemail on your phone about four years ago, but I lost it. Oh, yeah. And it was like... I still haven't played that. 50 or something around there. But I was just like, I know what I was doing my life calling on chat. I was just fucking around, but... I've listened to you since like 2015, since uh, Radio Shack videos. And uh, yeah. just wanted to say... Keep it up, man. I love seeing YouTubers go on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And I ever. will keep it up. All right, man. Peace. Just watch me. Brad, 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 Brad. Hey. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a lot better now. Had, <clears throat> had one of those horrible uh, bugs where I lost my voice. I hate that. At least it never half, it, it never lasted for too long. Anyway, I've got an idea idea for. I'm sure you can do uh, well, with the number. This ain't the idea line, Nobby guy. One, say, say you had to change someone's number because your business has been broken into and uh, all the computers have been destroyed. So you you have to you have to hand out new numbers to people, and that that will get people really, really, really annoyed. And we have to program them on punch cards, right? We have to pull out our old computers. I think people are going to go absolutely crazy. Bye. They sure are when I do that thing that you're telling me to do. Yo, Brad. Yo, listen here, you son of a bitch. Unlock those hobozos for me. I just became a, a subscriber. Yay. So I want my episodes. You made me cave because you fucking slow. <laughs> it worked. Fuck up. My plan worked. All right, I'm just playing. Have a good day. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. Yes, you are. Thank you for becoming a subscriber, though. Hey, Brad, this is Matt One. You know, it's been a long time since you've called people to let them know that they're uh, not compliant with the Americans with Disabilities Act of 2004. Mm -hmm. And they need a wheelchair ramp up to their porch and also Braille on their mailbox. I think you're... Yeah, there's, you need to do that more. Uh, it's been a long time, and I think people need to be uh, uh, getting a talk to. It's true. I have an updated version of the phone book that I used to call all those people. So maybe I'll just use that new phone book and start calling old people again. Hey, Brad, it's next door, Nick. I'm just testing out the Bluetooth on my car. I hope you can hear me well. It sounds it's good. The first time I've started up in three days because I work from home bragging have a good day okay i will yeah hi this is chris from norway hey chris I listen to your show 
I've uh, listened to all of your 800 and something episodes. Yeah. And, you know, I gotta say, man, gotta step your game up. Starting very boring. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> wow. Gotta put out, put out those episodes and... Uh, Maybe you just heard everything I can possibly do. And at this point, it's time to just move on to another podcaster. You ever think of that? No, stop fucking around. You know, you need to put out some more good stuff. Okay. Yeah. You know, I hope today it was good stuff and not bad stuff. I guess my court date is uh, June 15th. Okay. And, and uh, who's this? Um... I've been doing good. I went That's to a couple good. of yard sales. Anonymous and person. Spent a lot of money, though, that I wish I'd never have because money really don't grow on trees. It doesn't. And uh, I got a new prank for you. You should, uh, instead of doing Carol's voice, uh, you should do Dr. Phil's voice and interrupt the line with him and say some wacky stuff with him with the yeah. prank call soundboard because I sound just like Dr. Phil I'm not going to do soundboard pranks what are you all trying to turn this show into hello this is Juan B I was calling the what uh, thank you for mentioning me on your last episode anytime thanks you're welcome alright very last voicemail hey Brad it's the baby shaker I'm driving down the interstate with my windows rolled down and you're on speakerphone, so it probably sounds like shit. Okay. But I was just thinking, uh, you know like when you call places and you tell them that Jarrett Top is buying their phone number because it spells his name? I remember I used well, to. when you give them their new phone number, you should give them a phone number that actually spells Jarrett Top. And you know, that's only nine letters, so you could like work with the first digit, maybe use some different area codes. Okay. That uh, end with 2 2. I'll do it. But, uh, they're not yeah. going to know, though, that their number spells Carrot Top. I mean, I guess I would tell them. But then why would Carrot Top be getting rid of his number? Maybe because he's quitting show business. Yeah, that's the reason. That's the ticket. Yeah, that could be fun. Too bad this isn't a damn idea line. Thank you, BenQ666, Hunts Point Hooker, Weamu, Theo P, and KC Deeply for supporting the show on the Patreon. If you'd like to support the show on the Patreon... You can do that by going to patreon.com slash phone losers. That'd be nice. I think I need to do a live show soon of calling up late night hotel rooms with those two hotels I just found in this episode. Plus, I have a few others in my notebook here. So be looking forward to that. I'm ending the show with a song by MC Lars. This showed up on his Patreon. I don't know if I'm allowed to share it, but fuck it. I'm a loose cannon. I do what I want. Here's a song by MC Lars taken from a paid post on his Patreon. This is a song about the Jerky Boys movie. Just when I thought I had it all figured out, I had to meet those two rubbernecks. Still don't understand how all this mess got started. My mama always told me to work hard and be honest. Hello? Hi, is, is Jim around? Who's calling, please? This is his friend, Saul. 